Hi, my name is Laura Flight and I'm a hydrologic technician in the Augusta Main Office. This screencast video will show how to do a midsection discharge measurement in SWAMI with a mechanical current meter such as a Price AA or Pygmy meter. From the Site Visit Task screen, select the Discharge Measurement button in the task list. Next, select New Channel. Give the channel a relevant name such as Main or Left or Right by typing in the field next to name. This is especially important if you will be doing a multi-channel measurement. From the pick list next to QM method, select midsection for this midsection measurement method. Once the midsection method is selected, other measurement properties appear. Under deployment method, select how the midsection measurement is going to be made. In this case, let's do a weighting measurement. Then select the velocity method from the pick list. In this screencast video, we are covering AA or pygmy meters, so let's choose a price AA velocity method. From the next pick list for meter, I will select the serial number of the AA meter I am using. This list comes from site visit and should be specific to your Water Science Center or field office. From the suspension pick list, select top setting weighting rod for the USGS top setting weighting rod. To proceed, we must inspect our meter. If a spin test is not done, you must indicate that you have inspected your meter by selecting the checkbox next to meter inspected to continue. Select Measure to start recording midsection measurement information. It is recommended that this not be selected until you are actually ready to measure. Have your tagline strong, meter gear assembled, as this will later be tagged as the measurement's start time. From the midsection measurement screen, select New Section in the upper right. The next screen is where information for each individual vertical observation of this midsection measurement will be added. We will start with the distance box, where we will enter our edge distance on the tagline for our first section. Enter the total depth, which often on the edge is zero. When this is the case, the revolutions in time at the 0.6 depth will be automatically populated at zero and 40. Then select Done, as we have finished entering information for our first vertical. Back at the midsection measurement screen, select New Section to enter information about the next vertical, starting with the distance and total depth. The width will be calculated automatically based on the defined section distances. After a few sections, if you are doing even or patterned stationing between verticals, SWAMI will recognize this and auto-populate the distance. However, it can always be changed and should be if the amount of discharge being measured in each section is changing in order to adequately profile the cross section. In this section, we have a depth of 1.52 feet, and since we are using a AA meter, the 0.6 velocity observation row in the middle of the screen is highlighted green, indicating we should take our velocity measurement at 0.6 of the total depth. Next to the 0.6 is the rod set column. This is the position you set a USGS weighting rod using the scale on the handle so the meter is at 0.6 of the depth. After taking your velocity observation with the AA meter, in the 0.6 row, enter the total counts in the rev box and the amount of time in the time box. Velocity information will now be populated in SWAMI. Note, you do not need to stop on a defined count such as those listed on the meter rating tables, 7, 10, 15, 20, etc. SWAMI will calculate the velocity based on the meter equation. Hit Done when you have completed this measurement section or vertical. You will notice that each time you are finished adding a section, you return to the midsection measurement screen where you can review the data you have collected so far. I will add another section and enter the distance and total depth.
At this section, our total depth is 2.65 feet. So now the 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 velocity locations are highlighted since we are using a AA meter and the depth is greater than 2.50 feet. Measure the velocity for the 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 depths, the order does not matter, and enter the values after each. You can also add a 0 0.6 reading if desired. SWAMI will calculate the average velocity appropriately. In addition, SWAMI will warn you if an irregular velocity profile is indicated and suggest a 0 0.6 reading be obtained. Select Done when you are done with that vertical. Let's go to the next section. At this section we have an angle to our flow. To add this, in the box in the upper left under coefficient slash percent where it lists 1.00, enter the angle coefficient such as 0 0.99. Select Done when finished. I will again add another section. Let's say we have finished our measurement at the opposite edge and there is a vertical wall that does not have a depth of zero. Enter the depth. Then in the coefficient slash percent box, type the percent of the velocity of the previous section to be used as a velocity for this edge section. For instance, enter 25% if the velocity at the edge section is estimated to be 25% of the velocity measured in the previous section. Then, in the upper left under peer slash estimate, select ESTP to estimate the velocity based on the previous section. ESTN would estimate based on the next section. ESTM is for a manual estimate. Then select Done. Overall, here are some other things to point out about the vertical or section entry form. If you click the Note button near the upper right, you can add a text comment such as Rock Upstream in Section or Pivot Slipped that will be tagged with that section. This feature currently only works on a PDA. Above the note in the upper right of this screen, SWAMI cycles through the battery status of the device you're using, if known. The discharge calculated in the previous section to help you stay under 5% in each section. The number of sections you have taken so far in the measurement and the distance along the tagline of your previous section. This is helpful information as you make a discharge measurement. To insert a section or vertical, at the midsection measurement screen that lists the sections taken, right-click on a row and then select Insert Before to insert a vertical prior to the select one, or Insert After to insert a section subsequent to the selected one. Then enter the distance, depth, and velocity as appropriate. To delete a section or vertical, at the midsection measurement screen that lists the sections taken, right click on the row to be deleted and select delete. A warning box pops up to ensure the desired action is to delete this section. To edit a section or vertical, at the midsection measurement screen that lists the sections taken, right click on the row to be edited and select Edit. The information for that vertical is now displayed. Type in any of the entry boxes to make an edit. Then select Done. Although the time for each vertical is not displayed at the midsection measurement screen, it is displayed when the SWAMI file is displayed with a style sheet. An edited section will be time tagged with the time of the edit. We have now finished taking verticals for a midsection discharge measurement. 
At the midsection measurement screen, you will notice summary information here, such as the total number of sections, average velocity, total width, total area, and total discharge. Since we are done with our measurement, I will select Done. A dialog box asks you if you are sure. Select Yes. If you have questions on the process of performing a midsection price double A or pygmy measurement in SWAMI, please contact the SWAMI Help Group at the email address shown or visit the FCIS website at the address shown.